today we are going to talk about uh, how to do a luminance study in Rhino uh, with help of Diva so yeah let's get started so to do the study you have to have a, a Rhino geometry ready <coughs> uh, make sure that uh, everything that you build is in different layers so what we mean by that is uh, all the doors uh, needs to be in one layer all the windows needs to be in a separate window layer uh, same for floors roof and walls etc so uh, when you open rhino uh, rhino 5 uh, 64 bit you will see uh, and when you have diva installed you will see all these four tabs on top first uh, set the location so in <coughs> this case uh, I already have a location I can uh, change it to for example uh, San Diego open so that way your EPW file for San Diego is connected uh, into this model. Next thing you need to do is set up a plane uh, where you want to do the radiation. So in our case that's uh, on the surface. So select the surface <coughs> and then uh, you can set the division points so for example uh, I want to do a 30 by 20 grid So when you do that, you will see all the nodes on your surface. <coughs> you can choose to have smaller or bigger nodes. After that, assign material. So to assign material, okay. Uh, these are usually blank but then you have to manually fill in all the materials so for example for ceiling we are taking generic ceiling for doors uh, it can be some sort of translucent panel for equipment it's furniture uh, the most important ones that's going to make difference is uh, glazing so whatever glazing you give to the building is going to reflect or make huge difference on how the light is going to come inside the building and after doing after filling out all for the different layers you submit the material information so here you can see that all these layers are sort of linked to the layers that you have in your Rhino so submit the information after that uh, we go to run matrix <coughs> and here you can see in Diva you can do various analysis first one is uh, daylight visualization time lapse radiation map point and glare annual glare but today we are going to do the point in time illuminance study so for illuminance uh, our met uh, metric is illuminance for sky condition uh, you can take a clear sky with sun but I uh, 
here for this particular project we have taken overcast sky uh, you can set a time so for uh, the the format is month day and hour so this is third month 21st uh, is the date and it's on the 14th hour of the day and uh, our units are lux so after we have filled out all this information you sort of run the simulation uh, when you run the simulation it's going to take a while to sort of process the whole thing so we are going to pause the video and we'll be back once the um, uh, simulation is already done So after the okay, simulation is r done uh, uh, running, it gives you this dialog box to fill out further information. So here you can uh, set up a limit. So uh, we can set the range from 0 to 10,000 and choose the color scheme and do load simulation data so once you do that this thing will get updated and here is how it looks uh, to view it better, let's go to the plan view. And this is how it looks. So the other thing you can do is you can turn off the notes so that you can visualize it little better and yeah that's pretty much it so um, when you want to run it for a new simulation you would just change the uh, change numbers for the data thank you so much